In this video, you're going to master Canva AI to easily and quickly create your designs, as well as even apps and tools that you could very well create all within your Canva account. So let's get started. So in your Canva account, you will see Canva AI on the left side. Once there, you will see at the top, a prompt field where you can describe your idea, whatever you wanna create. You could create a logo, you could create a poster, you could very well create a presentation and even an interactive game or any app of your whatever of your imagination. But down the bottom, you'll see recent chats. So these are the recent creations of yours once you've started using Canva AI. You've also got some suggestions on what you can create. So these will spark some inspiration if you don't know where to begin. You can create videos like a cinematic video of an ethereal glass feather you've got images of course coding you can write a blog post you could also code and design different things but take a look at some of those suggestions so that you can have a good starting ground where you can create something and just play around with canva ai to begin with but before we continue i just want to explain the canva pricing and by the way, if you don't have a Canva account to begin with, feel free to use the link in the description box below. That'll give you a free 30-day trial of Canva Pro. Now on the pricing page, you will see under AI-powered design tools, you've got Canva AI. On the free plan, you've got limited messages per month. And this means in specifically, you can generate a design with Canva AI. You get 50 total credits for that. Using DreamLab, creating an image, you get 20 credits per month, build interactive experiences with Canva code, limited free credits, and so on and so forth. You can take a look at this at canva.com forward slash pricing, but this will give you at least an idea of what you can create and the maximum amount of messages. But let me explain that right now. So back to Canva AI, where the prompt field is, when you are typing something, you're prompting something, that is one message. For instance, let's start with something very simple, such as design a logo for my personal brand, Aurelius Tijin. And now we can click on submit. And what it's doing now is it's coming up with some logo variations. And right here, we've got it in a matter of seconds. We've got a few ideas right here. Of course, the better and more specific you are in your text prompt, the better the output. Since I didn't quite mention the aesthetics of it, the colors of the brand, it just gave me some of these generic ones. But that there is one message. So with Canvas pricing, when you're talking about the messages back here, you got limited messages per month. They are they are periodically changing the limit. So when I say that there's a limit of 20, you may change later on. So I won't give you a figure in this video, but just know that if you are on the free plan, you do get limited messages. Back here, let's go back to the text prompt because here you can add media so that the Canva AI can reference and gain some input as to what you wanna create or something similar like that. You can also chat using voice if it's much easier for you to explain by simply using your microphone. Down the bottom, you've got design for me, create an image, draft a doc. So again, some suggestions here. Now what I wanna do is prompt Canva AI to create a presentation for me. I'm gonna start with something very simple, create a presentation on yoga basics and click on submit. You can see the power of Canva AI you don't need to start and create a fresh canvas and then picking a theme, then putting all your input in there. It already puts it all for you, including a few variations for you to begin with. So you can see which ones uh, you may choose from. You can There's four to choose from in particular for this prompt. And you can see a beginner's guide to yoga practices. This one looks great. You can very well click on that and then that will open up a new pane so you can get a preview of what it looks like. And what you can do now is refine it further. So if there's something you don't like, but you do like a particular thing, you can make those adjustments by asking here. For instance, let's say you like the aesthetics of it, but not so much the content of it. So we could very well say, keep the layout look and aesthetics of this version, but change the content. And then when we click on submit, and there we go, we've got this version now. You kept the look and feel of that previous one right here, but instead it's got yoga for mindful living. It's changed the content, the title of the presentation. We can also go at the top, there's color themes as well to choose from. So in one click, you can very well just change the entire look and feel of it. 
So you're free to repeat this by asking a way, and then you can, again, attach a media, use your voice, refine it further and further. Otherwise, if you do want to use Canva's traditional editor, you can very well click on use Canva editor. That will take that particular template into the traditional Canva layout, as you can see with all of the tools on the left. And then you can very well just design and make finer adjustments that way. But since we're talking about Canva AI, let's go back to this Canva AI interface. Some other things I wanna explain, once it's generated your designs or whatever it may be, you can go down the bottom, you can see here, more yoga presentation designs that will regenerate that prompt so that you're given more variations, or you can follow one of these suggestions such as add a calming nature background image uh, with minimalist color theme, but it's just easier to be more specific about what you wanna change rather than wasting your credits by asking in the text prompt here. Let's go back to Canva AI, and this time we're going to code. We're going to request it to create an interactive memory matching game. And this right here, you can see in real time that it's coding the entire game for you. At this point, you simply sit back and relax. There's not much more for you to do until it's generated the actual game. That took about 30 seconds or so, and you can see what it has already created. We've got this interface, very colorful, very fun looking. And on the left, we've got the chat prompt and it says uh, that you can customize it. So you can make variations, you can change things up if you want to, change your colors, maybe create like a logo for it, be more specific about what kind of memory game you're after. But let's go ahead, I'm gonna give this a try and you can see that it's working and I can continue playing if I want to. You can add different features to it, maybe different theme, just really depends what it is. But by using something like this, you could implement it into your own kind of niche and you're based on your audience, so it's more targeted. So it makes it more gamified, more interactive for your students or your audience to learn about that particular topic. Another great use of Canva AI is by taking an existing image and turning that into something actually useful. So what I'm gonna do is I've attached one of my profile pictures and I wanna use this on a social media post, specifically, for Instagram. So in this scenario, what I've done is I'm prompting it to create an Instagram post and include uh, my attached image as well as the following quote. You have the power of your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength by Marcus Aurelius. All right, and now when I click on submit, it's included my image and for example, this one here, and you can see it's come up with this title, find your inner strength. Here's the quote and it looks great. This is something that you could very well post. And if you want to create social media content like this, you can use Canva AI to help you shortcut that. And of course, with Canva AI, you can do the usual things like generating images. In this case, I'm going to generate a realistic image of Kyoto in Japan during cherry blossom season. Let's see what it comes up with. With image generation, it will show you the results just down below. And this is what it's come up with. Really beautiful. And you can see some of the images right here. And just as a side note, you can't generate 4K images specifically. So you can see here, I'm prompting it to generate a 4K image of Kyoto. And let's try that out. If I click on this one here, there is a limit of 1600 by 896. So that's just one thing to note. It's not going to generate 4K, you know, full high resolution images for you, but 1600, that's still quite usable. However, what you can do is with the image generated, there's a button called boost resolution that will increase the resolution, I think about double. So if you click on boost resolution, You'll now see the regenerated image with the boosted resolution indicated right there. So now it's 3200 by 1792. 
close to the 4K mark. And there we go, using Canva AI, all you need to do is enter a few text prompts, refine it so that you get the designs, the app, or whatever you wanna create using Canva AI in a matter of minutes. But again, if you don't have a Canva account, use the link in the description box below. That will give you at least 30 days to give Canva Pro a try so that you're not limited in the messages that you get when you are prompting Canva AI. That's all from me. Thanks so much for watching and I'll link up a couple of videos right here for you to watch next.